morning, my dear students. Today we are going to study Unit 7, Lesson 1 and 2, Explorer for a Day. In this lesson, we will see our children will decide to go into a cave and search for something. They will use something like what? Like binoculars. Again, binoculars. So, what do you mean by binoculars? Binoculars, it's an object that you hold in front of your eyes to see things far away. Number two, they will use compass. Compass. So, what do you mean by compass? Compass, it's an object that you use for finding which directions to go in. And we will see, in compass, we will see four directions like north, like south, like east, like west. Okay? Treasure. Treasure. So, what do you mean by treasure? Treasure means a collection of special and valuable objects. Okay? Journalist. Journalist. What do you mean by journalist? Journalist is someone who writes news reports for newspapers, magazines, or radio like a reporter. Okay. Also, we have novelist. Novelist. Novelist means someone who writes novel like author. Exercise number one. Choose the correct answer. A. The person who paints pictures or makes sculptures. A painter. Number two. About exploring this cave, this is a suggestion. How about or what about? Number three, a the person who plays the guitar, a guitarist. Number four, what about eating pizza? Okay, in lessons three and four, we will study relative pronouns. When can I use relative pronouns? Relative pronouns are used to join two sentences or more in order to show and confirm the meaning. Number one, we will study who or that. Who or that used for people? For example, number one, Sami is a clever student who get the full marks. We can delete who and write that. Sami is a clever student that get the full marks. Which or that for things? Indian elephants which live in Asia have small ears. We can delete which and write that Indian elephants that live in Asia have small ears. Okay. Rewrite the following sentence. Number one. The teacher was angry with Karim. He was absent. Use who? The teacher was angry with Karim. Who was absent? Number two. We enjoyed the party. It was fantastic. Use which? We enjoyed the party which was fantastic. Number three, Marco Polo was a traveler. He went to China in the 13th century. Use who? Excellent. Marco Polo, who went to China in the 13th century, was a traveler. Number four, he received a message and it made him sad. That he received a message that made him sad. Thanks for your listening.